everybody and this is Phil and I am back again with another video for you guys and this time it is a book related video. Yay! Uh, hopefully by this time I would have already um, uploaded my first book review hopefully if YouTube doesn't hate me today. But this video is going to be on my favorite book covers and book spines. I don't really have that much of um, actual physical books in my bookshelves right now because I do have a bunch of them in storage, older books that I had from high school and college. Um, as you guys might have seen my bookshelf for, um, bookshelf tour, you guys can see it down below. I'll put, put some links. But um, I do really buy books that um, I think I would want to showcase and just fawn over. So um, let's get to it, okay? Um, these are all the books I'm going to talk about. Let's see if I can show them. There we go. Pretty, pretty, pretty gorgeous books. Um, first one I'm going to talk about is a book that I haven't actually finished reading. I've been meaning to, but I kept getting stuck in the middle of the story. So eventually I will be finishing it and you can actually you guys can actually see my list of books that I'm currently reading and plan to read on my Goodreads account which will be linked down here in the description box and the first one is Shanghai Girls this is by Lisa C I seriously love the motive of this book this is actually not a hardback it is a paperback novel that I, uh, edition that I got um gorgeous you know, traditional Chinese style painting um, for the cover of the two girls, the sisters of the story. Um, and I love that when you turn over and look at the spine, it actually pulls through and has the same font and same motive, which is gorgeous. I just didn't like that it didn't continue in the back and it has this cream kind of solid part. But it actually goes through really well because there's also this insert that's also in the same color. But very gorgeous, very gorgeous. Um, I actually like the book. It's just that I just haven't had, you know, the reason to finish it. But this is um, Shanghai Girls. And this is uh, the Random House Reader's Circle edition. I believe... I can't remember when I got this. But very recently. I think it's last year. Gorgeous book. Um, set that aside. Another book, and it's another Asian-related book. It is um, The Housekeeper and the Professor by Yoko Ogawa. I think that's how you say your name. She's a young Japanese author. I really love this part here. I love those kind of books that have like that old-time cut of the papers um, of the book itself. And I do like the cherry blossom and the... You can't, you guys can't see it, but there's like a lot of mathematics, mathematical... I'm not a math person. Mathematical um, symbols around. That's kind of cool. And also the spine. Like I said, I love the fact that it continues like that. And I love those books that are like that. That it continues to the spine. And I think that's beautiful. Um, I know people, um, mostly booktubers, are posting separate videos between their favorite covers and favorite spines. I actually, both of them kind of just over... Um, over each other so I didn't feel like doing a separate video but maybe I would in the future but anyways um, beautiful beautiful book uh, this one's the Picador paperback original so it's another paperback now it's all hard bound books as you guys might notice some of them are actually have this plastic cover because I like to keep my books nice in a pristine condition and the first paperback uh, not paperback but hardbound is the book the Eternal Ones. This is by Kristen Miller. I seriously love the whole red red motive and this weirdly looking snake shaped like an O. Very simple cover but it's very striking and I also like the fact that um, you know it continues here to fond and everything. I'll show you guys the second book which I'm actually probably going to do a review on if I can pull it out right now. Um, I don't like the paperback versions as well. This one's blue, but it has like a picture in the middle and it's not as enticing. But this one's the second book, All You Desire. Um, I wish I could grab a hold of the hardback cover of this and hopefully in the future, but um, I kind of want one that's just blue. Pretty much that's in the same vein of um, the first book. So that would be this. 
anything similar to this blooper version blue version for all you desire i would really love to grab one hopefully in the future but i seriously love this book next one is a book called pretty pretty little mistakes this is by heather mac mcelhath mcelhathan 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 cute cute cover actually you guys can tell it because i covered it a plastic but it's a see-through book in the middle and there's like this part in the the inside part of the oh this is actually not a hardbound book oh my gosh paperback um and it continues on the whole motive of these wonderful colors over here on the spine it looks gorgeous on a bookshelf could just see this um, series of patterns and continues on in the back not an exciting novel but gorgeous on the bookshelf the next one is uh, the review, first book review that I'm going to do. Hopefully it's already posted on this channel by this time, but it would be on the evolution of Mara Dyer. I really do like the first book's cover as well. I'm not going to pull it out anymore, um, but I like the fact that this is a lighter color scheme. It's not as dark and you can really see the title and the motive of um, like someone saving each other underwater it still continues beautiful 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 and continues over here on the spine and with the same title font right here it's it's really pretty it's by simon and schuster um gorgeous gorgeous book seriously um and it's plastic covered again because i want to keep that all nice and pretty for it um i'm really excited to see the cover of the third book the retribution because i'm kind of really curious what the motive is going to be on a picture so hopefully that's coming out next year and the last book that I really love and I know a lot of people love this book I do I don't know if I'm going to do a review because a lot of people already have reviews on it but this is by John Green um The Fault in Our Stars and I believe the cover is designed by X Perpetual Motion here on YouTube um Karen Cavett and um if you guys don't know John Green, he is one half of the Vlog Brothers, the FTBA. You know, don't forget to be awesome. I can't do the hand, uh, but amazing, amazing vlog youtube vlogger and also amazing author um this is for the fault in our stars i love the fact that it's kind of like chalk written over here the motive and has like you know clouds and everything i i like the fact that they didn't go default into like the whole you know put a whole bunch of stars in the cover and it look nice i like the fact that it looks a little bit different and very simple um graphic design and i like the fact that it continues over here on the spine it's just a plain blue um color background with the black and the white um kind of chalk type of writing so that's the last book that i really love um there's a few more but i kind of feel they're more generic and they're not really that unique i think i'll probably do another one of these videos once i get more books in my shelf that i want to show you guys so hopefully you guys enjoy it uh feel free to post a video response down below of your favorite books spines our book covers and let me know which books you guys like and i might actually pick them up too because i love buying books just based on their covers i know you're not supposed to judge a book by their cover but i do love getting like a pretty book to put on my bookshelf and it would be an added bonus that it's a really good book to read so i'll see you guys in a you know next time on my next video bye